Hello, CCEJ family. My name is Rashida Crutchfield. I use she, her pronouns, and I am so grateful to have the opportunity to welcome Shay Sorrells into our CCEJ family. Um, I met Shay uh, almost 12 years ago. Did I age us? That means we were 12, right? Okay, okay. She was a uh, Master of Social Work student in our School of Social Work at California State University, Long Beach, and she instantly stood out as exceptional. Um, if you know her, you know that she is a full-time social worker, a full-time advocate, a full-time professor, a mother, a wife, also a full-time student as she's working on her doctoral degree, and in her free time, she decides to save the world. <laughs> Um, having aged out of foster care herself, she's a champion of advocates. She's a champion and an advocate for children to make sure that we know that children are deserving to be treated with love and devotion and respect at all times. She has tr uh, trained professionals at all levels, including state and local policy, in departments of education, and in the family court system. She, uh, on a personal note, I really need to say that she has this way of letting you know that your understanding of issues, perhaps your personal endeavors and practices and policies might have a shallow understanding of really complex issues and that perhaps we need to engage in understanding how our actions might have been marginalizing others. And she challenges in, with such grace and beauty that you are still left whole. And actually, after being schooled, <laughs> you still left, you're still left as a whole person and grateful for the experience. It is truly my honor and privilege to provide the Jean Linsner Human Relations Award to my sister friend, Shay Sorrells. Goal one was not fall up the stairs. Goal two was do not drop the award. We are done. <laughs> Thank you so much. I one of the things that people said, and you heard that I do many things, and the first question I always get is how. And I say, how not? So for me, when I graduated high school as a former foster youth, I knew that I was one in five. I was a statistic, I beat the odds. That's how. When I boarded a Greyhound bus with a laundry basket only to my name to come to Southern California, that was how. Because I knew that I had to beat the odds. When I enrolled in a four-year university, I knew that I was one in 10 of foster youth. That's how. When I graduated four years later with my degree in psychology, I knew that I was one. 3% of foster youth graduate from a four-year degree. That's how. When I enrolled in my master's program and saw beautiful, wonderful black female professors teaching me wonderful things, and I knew that's how. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and I knew that I had to do more because guess what? There's no statistic on foster youth and master's programs. Zero is what it says. And I knew that was how. And when I graduated and I moved into the workforce, I knew how was every day getting up and doing whatever I could, teaching others, learning from others, being inspired by others, finding any way how. And when I enrolled in my doctorate program, and everyone said I was insane, and I knew I was, and again, you want to talk about statistics, I mean, that is probably the .05 something, I don't, I'm really bad at statistics. Um, but I knew this is how, by having those initials after my name, so that people can hear my voice, not just from my former foster youth, but with my education and my experience, I plan to step up for the other five for the other six, for the other seven, for the other hundreds of thousand foster youth and teach them how. Thank you.